Okay, so we're on a potential test route section by Garrett's Green. We're going to turn right at this junction. Now, we're in an articulated vehicle, so we're mirror signal. We're not going to go into that uh, right-hand turn lane because it's too narrow, and we need to get the trailer past the bollards. So we just keep the bollards to our right shoulder. Mirror checks, including the near side mirror for kick out of the trailer. And then as we come round the corner, we're using a guide, the crown of the road, the white lines. So we're taking the unit over, checking the near side mirror to make sure now that the trailer clears. The trailer clears the left, looking ahead, there's a vehicle approaching, so I'm just gonna keep moderate throttle, allow the oncoming vehicle, because he's already at the hazard in the road, which is the parked cars. I've checked my right mirror, white van behind, so I'm easing down, mirrors signal, telling the vehicle behind that I'm going to be pulling out, and oncoming vehicles will see if they approach. We've cancelled the signal a little bit on the early side so that it doesn't get mixed up with a right-hand turn signal. And again, oncoming vehicle at the top of the road I'm coming, so we're going to pull back into the left, ease off the throttle, allow him to come through. I'm not going to give a right signal because I don't want to get mixed up with a, a right-hand turn signal. I've got my eye on the vehicles behind in the mirror. Again, second vehicle, again, approaching from the front. So again, we'll just pull in nice and steady. Allowing them, basically keeping the vehicle moving. Check the mirrors. Out we go to the crown, over the crown. The crown is the centre of the road. And this is Garrett's Green, and we're about to approach um, a fairly well-known hazard on the test route. There are a lot of students tend to miss. So here, it's very important that as we approach, if you look to the left, you'll see the red triangle with a yellow background, and that size low bridge, 11 foot six and our vehicle is over 14 feet so mirrors signal you've got no choice you cannot obviously under the bridge you've got a mirror signal and come left avoiding the low bridge which is down to the right again you'll notice from the angles uh, that i'm staying towards the crown of the road i'm checking my near side mirrors to make sure that the trailer is clearing the curb line here again. I'm drifting out nice and early and nice and smooth. We're not going to go right up to park cars and have a sharp angle. Now, this roundabout again is a very difficult roundabout for the class one. As you approach tall cross roundabout, approach over the crown of the road towards into the hatchets. As we come into the roundabout, keep the speed low, take the unit in, then Check your mirrors, make sure you've cleared that corner. Take the unit over to the left, as you can see, then over to the curb. Now, what we've got to do, left signal on for brake off. Bring the trailer by looking in your right mirror, but only scanning into the roundabout, over into the hatchet markings, harsh over, undo the steering, lock it back in. Now, keep it tight to the bollards. Check and make sure that the trailer comes through that gap with approximately half a foot of space. You can get it a bit further than that if you try a bit harder than I do. Okay, check the mirrors, move to the crown of the road away from the parked cars, making sure that there's nobody opening doors. At this point, the examiner may turn around to you and give you an, a, an order of saying, please pull over at the first safe and convenient location on the left side. So he's give us that instruction and as you can see, there's lots of drop curbs, bus stops in front, so we're not going to pull over here. Now, when he gives you that, uh, that instruction, don't panic and suddenly start looking and thinking his means immediately. He doesn't. In this instance, we're checking the mirrors, come to the crown. I'm still looking for somewhere safe. Well, obviously, it's junctions left and right, bollards. It's not safe here. However, up ahead on the left, I'm going to check the mirrors, signal left, nice and smooth on the brakes, just after the first drop curb and before the second, use the near side mirror. Again, don't stare at mirrors though. Make sure that you're just scanning. As you can see, my head moving quite a lot. And when you're stationary, part brake goes on, cancel signal, leave the vehicle in gear because on your test, he will do this pull in, pull out between three and five times. If you put it into neutral and he asks you to pull away, you may, because of your nerves, you may just leave it in neutral, go to pull away, and you'll rev, and you won't go anywhere. In fact, you may even roll back, which could be a fail because you have lost control of the vehicle. So at no point during your test, once you leave your test station at the start, right to the end, leave the gears alone. 
so it's like that. Now, when he asks you to pull away, he's gonna ask you to pull away from this point, then you must first check your mirrors and don't immediately put your indicator on. What you're doing is you're looking for a gap in the traffic. So you'll see me scanning my mirrors. Now, if the traffic is heavy, then what I would say is give it about 30 to 40 seconds. If you can't find a gap after about 30 to 40 seconds, then by all means, then you can put your signal on to ask permission. But if you put your signal on immediately, you're gonna force the vehicles behind, possibly to slow down. And that could be classed as a fail because you're forcing the vehicles to slow down. So we're gonna pull away now. I'm gonna try and do it in a safe manner. So I'm checking the mirrors. We've got a bit of traffic coming up from behind. So I'll let that clear. Once we get a gap in the traffic, we're gonna follow our procedures for pulling away. A couple more cars. Oncoming is now clear. Last car, so mirror, signal, blind spot checks, and away we go. And if you look in the rear view mirrors, we haven't affected anyone from behind or in front. So we're away and we're clean. That's how the examiner wants you to do it. Now, we're coming down to a set of lights at the bottom of the road and as you can see there's a vehicle with its hazard lights on on approach and it's a bit of a pinch point I've got a learner coming in from the left so as I come here I'm going to gently brake check the near side mirror make sure the learner hasn't slipped off the clutch I'm not giving a right signal because it could be confused with a right hand turn signal so I've just maneuvered the truck now here again I've got to come back in because of the right hand turn across the road so I've had to come back into lane again here I'm going to stop short don't get right up on top of that daff I'm just gonna hold, mirror, I'm gonna to signal to let the oncoming traffic and the traffic behind know that I will be coming out as and when. A driver's just got back into the DAF. Let's just see what he does for a second. And the person crossing the road. Now he's signaling, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait patiently, I'm not gonna ask him or give him any signals from me, I'm just gonna let him make his own mind up to clear the way. Near side mirror, right mirror, blind spot, back to the lights. Up to the lights and we are gonna turn left at the lights. Now, a lot of drivers or a lot of new drivers might think that looking at this left turn, you need to cover the lanes. You don't, you can put yourself in lane. And the reason we know this is if we have a quick look at how much space we've got in front of the vehicle to take the unit out to get the trail around, means that we can stay in our lane to do this. And the exit from the lights is also wide. So we've got plenty of room to get this vehicle round. So we're going to put left signal, check, check, blind spots, and off we go. Out we go, left turn, checking the mirrors, we go to the wide angled mirror at the bottom. And as we turn, we undo the steering, check the headboard, check the trailer, away we go. Now, oncoming blue light, so we're not in his way, so I'm just gonna sit steadily, let him pass, check him off in the mirrors, follow through mirror check. I'm gonna mirror a signal for the white car. I would have gone out to the crane a little bit earlier, but because the uh, blues were coming, I stayed in a little bit just to make sure they got passed okay. I'm staying towards the crane because I've got parked cars on the near side. Again, I'm trying to plan and I'm looking as far as my eye can see, right in the distance where the green lights for the pedestrian lights are. That's where I'm actually looking. I've already scanned what's in front of me from back there. So forward advanced observations. That allows us to make early judgments on what's going on. So we can apply brakes or adjust speed. What we don't want to be doing is looking too short and then everything's on top of you. So again, we're still towards the crown of the road. That gives a good vision of that left hand bend around. And you can see the lights are on red, so I'm easing off the gas. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to allow, there's nobody at the crossing in front, I'm trying to allow the lights to cycle so I can keep the vehicle moving nice and smooth. Checking the mirrors, I'm clear side. I'm gonna use the left lane, as you can see from the road markings, and there we go, we've got a green light, we've kept the vehicle moving. We're in lane, so we've got lane discipline. Vehicle crossing us from right to left, the VW. And when we come through the junction, we'll just have a quick flick in the mirrors, make sure that he's safe, and he is, and we're away. So we're coming up to, what, again, one of the major roundabouts for Garrett's Green test stations, very close to Garrett's Green. It's, we know it as McDonald's roundabout. 
we're going to turn left first exit we're coming from tile cross now again this roundabout you can get cars coming down the right hand side of the vehicle which can cause a problem if you're trying to enter the roundabout so what we're going to do is going to use a method called blocking we'll check the mirrors and then I'm going to take up the whole roadway to stop cars coming around the left or the right I've checked that white car coming in from the left east safe we're using the blocking method mirrors signal Again, adjust the speed, watch the bus. The bus is on going left. He's got his indicator. I'm pretty sure he's, he's going to go there. So into the roundabout. Deep, deep. Now, there's the gravel. Look for the gravel. You can use that. Then as we come round, check your near side mirror for trailer. And then undo the steering out on the crown of the road. That will keep the trailer away from the near side curve, from the left curve. Again, the crossing is clear. I've checked the mirrors and we can go back to gas and now we're again we're looking as far as the eye can see with a bit of planning it's a bit of a pinch point in front so check the mirrors just back it down a little bit we'll both go through there it is tight but we've got plenty of room okay check the mirrors again carry on through go to screen test station is from your left down there you will come out on test you could turn your left or right we're going to go to the left on this part of the route and Speed limit on this road is 30 miles an hour, so just checking my speed. I'm dead on 30 at the moment. Again, as far as the eye can see, you can see the um, hazard sign on the left showing a sharp bend in the road. Reduce speed now. I've got a speed check camera on the right saying 25 miles an hour because I'm coming off the gas, ready for the corner. And then you can see the, the sign for the, the children's crossing or school nice and smooth on the brakes nice and smooth look at what's happening nobody there now with these mini roundabouts you've got to show the examiner that you're willing to steer you can't go through the roundabout you've got to go around the roundabout you do not have to indicate for exit because it's too short a distance but you do have to make a minor show that you're actually steering the vehicle we're going to do a second one of those and as we approach nice and smooth check the mirrors Nice and smooth. Make sure he's coming off. I'm pretty sure he is. We'll let him go. There he goes. In we come. Little minor steer around. Yes, the trailer's going to catch that roundabout just a little bit, but there's not much you can do with the size of the vehicle. So we're going to go left at the roundabout. Check the mirrors. Signal left. Stay to the crown of the road. Look behind your blind spots of these big mirrors. Into the roundabout. Deep, deep, deep. Round to the left. There's the gravel on the road. We can use the gravel. The car that's coming, I'm coming, has, has let, let us go. We didn't slow it, it was his choice to do that. We didn't force it because we, did, we, had, we didn't need to use all that space, to be fair. We wouldn't have affected him anyway. Okay, so we're going back to the crown of the road, and here is a pinch point. So, with a pinch point, again, ease it down, relax. As you come through, check it, check it with your mirror. The mirrors are gonna show you where the trailer is on the road surface. So you've gotta use your mirrors for position. Don't just stare dead ahead. Again, crossing is clear, all the way up the road to the, to the roundabout. We've got a few oncoming cars, but nothing big, no buses, no HGVs. So we can move back to the crown of the road a little bit. Check our near side mirror, make sure we're clearing all these parked cars. Make sure the oncoming cars are clearing us, which they are. That's it, through the pinch point, check the mirrors, we've gone through there fine, trailer's through fine. And then again, on approach here, we've got a car live with the lights on there, so we've got to be aware of him or her. As we approach crossing, someone coming across, so check the mirrors, ease back nice and early, make sure that that person's off the crossing before you proceed. He's clear, he's not turning back. We're following the road ahead, second exit, approach on the crown. We're on the crown now. The, now we've approached, it is clear at the moment, so in we go, around, over to the gravel to the left this time, over to the left curb, break off signal, tuck the trailer back into the roundabout, then into the gravel coming off, undo the steering on the crown of the road, and that will keep the trailer away from that curb and stop your curb in the trailer. Again, green light, nobody by the crossing, and we can view all the way down the road, nothing on coming, but there is a pinch point, so we're going to move early to the crown of the road. We're taking control of the situation now. Checking the mirrors, nice and smooth. Now the oncoming vehicle, we're already at the hazard. 
and we're out in the road. There's plenty of room. As he comes past, check him in the mirror. That's fine. And now we can move back into line. Again, hazard sign there for crossing uh, children. So be mindful. And we're just going to drive. We're going to tuck it in slightly curbside this time instead of crane. Reason being is to get away from that vehicle and improve our vision around the right hand bend. And as here, the bus is giving way to us. So check the mirrors. The crossing is clear. Again, move slightly back to the crown as much as you can, but obviously not affecting the oncoming traffic. We've got a bus stop with people at it. So as we pass that, they're a bit close to the uh, road. So we'll do a what we call a follow through mirror check. Make sure they haven't stepped out. And there's a near side follow through mirror check. Examiner wants to see that. Anytime there's hazards left or right, then he would like you to see, see you do a mirror check, follow through mirror check. Uh, now, this cross has got a bit of a lip on it, so we're going to check our mirrors and gently bring her up. And then down we go. Again, you can see the, the bus stop up ahead with people at it and into the corner. It's looking clear at the moment, once I get a better view around the corner. And we've got a green light at the pedestrian. We're going to check these two up the bus stop. They're OK, they're safe. BM coming in from the left. He's off and he's in front. That's good for him and the crossing obviously is clear so we can maintain our nice and steady progress which is what we want to try and achieve in an arctic or any hv for that matter it's it's nice safe steady progress good fuel efficiency so again i'm going to have to tuck in and come not go over the crown just yet because of the right hand turn across there mirrors i'm not going to signal because the might be misinterpreted as a right hand turn. As we pass the parked cars, I've checked the mirrors as we come through. Gap safe, light red, lights are on red ahead. Off the gas. Now they've only just gone to red, so they're not going to change for us this time. But what I'm doing, I've come off the gas early. Again, it's saving fuel and the deceleration is nice and smooth and the examiner's happy because it'll be nice and comfortable. Now, when we come in behind the BMW, we're in line as best we can be and we're going to stop short and I can see his tyres touching the tarmac. That, from my driving position, if I can see his tyres touching the tarmac, that should be a sufficient gap. Because if he breaks down, I'm gonna to have to go round. If I get any closer, I'd have to reverse. And you wouldn't want to reverse an Arctic when you don't know what's behind you. So, we've left that. We call it TT, tyres to tarmac. Okay, we're approaching roundabout, and we're gonna take the first exit off the roundabout. So, mirrors first, off the gas, smooth on the brakes, Again, move to the crown on the road. That'll keep your vehicle away from that near side curb. Look at what's happening. We got blockers in there. There we go, the bike's in. In we go. Steer out to the outside now, tuck it back in slightly tighter to the right into the roundabout. And then as we come out, we come out on the crown. So undo the steering early and it'll keep the trailer away from the curb. Now, we want to leave at least a three second gap between us and the black van in front. And you can see the lights. There's a vehicle just turning right. He's got, and he's clear. Bright lights just flashed on the van. We're good in line. I'm checking the mirrors to make sure we're in line. I'm looking ahead of that van. I'm looking up the hill. That's why I'm leaving such a big gap. It improves my vision. Now you can see the cars in front of the van on the top of the hill are already braking. So there's no point in us giving loads of throttle to get up there. What we're just going to do is just moderate. The speed limit is 30. I'm actually over, I'm doing about 28. So I'm actually maintaining progress with the traffic. The van's clearing off to the right. Is he going to get? Yes, he's clear. So check the mirrors again. Gentle bit of gas because we're going uphill. Now, I don't want to arrive at that roundabout with the queue in traffic. What I want to arrive at is when all that traffic's in the roundabout, it might enable me to keep this vehicle moving. So the last car is going in now. He's in. Check the mirrors, off the gas. Now it says two lane approach, but it's quite narrow. So again, I'm gonna dominate the road here. Both lanes, cover both. Now check off what's coming. He's got an indicator and he's in position to turn left. So I'm happy to go in, keep the vehicle moving out to the wide, break off signal, plenty of room here, dual carriageway and crossing is clear. Stay to the crown of the road, improve your vision round, and you've got a red light. So again, no need for throttle, off the throttle. You want a green light when you get there. So check the mirrors. All I'm doing now is just I'm off the throttle. I'm not even braking at the moment. Ease it back, ease it back. Bring the brakes in nice and gentle, nice and gentle. 
checking the mirrors. And TT on the black Prius, tires to tarmac. Good, park brake in position one, hold on the park brake. Now, if we scan right ahead, there's a blue sign for a bus lane in lane one. So near side, front right, blind spot, rolling ahead. Now, I've got lots of traffic down my right hand side. I need to maneuver lane. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna continue moving. I'm gonna put, put a signal on, no, and I'm not gonna move until someone gives way and holds back for me. Now, the white Nissan in the, rear, in the mirror is holding back. I'm now manoeuvring over, cancel signal. I'm now checking my position by my mirrors. Again, red light, so smooth on the brakes. I'd like it to go green. We're outside Jaguar Land Rover at Solihull, front gate. There's the green light. I'm keeping the vehicle moving. Check the mirrors and continue. Be, be careful of cars here undertaking and seeing the bus lane late. They will cut in front, as has the Nissan. So we've got to be mindful of that, but plenty of space, let them go. The one behind has just done the sign, and the other one's already in the bus lane doing the sign. So be aware of car drivers who obviously are not being able to see the signs early enough and allow for them. As we drive up here, bus lane's live on the near side, it is, and it's got cameras on it as well. We're just Holding off the back of the Nissan, I'm looking at the beginning of the queue, past the white van, the black Prius at the very top of the road. That's where I'm scanning. That's why I'm leaving this safety margin. If the black car does anything in front, my peripheral vision will pick up his signals, brake lights or indicators, and I can then concentrate on him a little bit more. But at the moment, there's the red car at the lead, and that's where I'm trying to look to see what the next major hazard is. You can see the traffic as well. It's in a cluster in front. So it's all bunching up, that's not where I want to be. If anything goes wrong, that's where it's going to go wrong. So I want to sit off that cluster, but maintain a nice and steady progress. Again, check the mirrors. We're being told by the road markings to move back in left. I've checked the near side mirror, it's safe to do so. Obviously a passing car on the right, they're all braking now, so all I've had to do is come off the throttle, brake a little bit, check the white car off on the right, he's clear coming across with this car now who wants to come across us. So again, when we're through, check the follow through mirror check, he's okay. Lights are clear, nobody's there, nobody's pressed them. But the other lights at the top are just going to red now. So again, there's no point in rushing. And I am gonna maneuver to lane two. Now the reason I'm doing this and not staying in the left lane as trucks should normally stay in the left lane is I can see a blue sign again in front for another bus lane. So I've already positioned nice and early, and as you can see, the light's going green. We're keeping flow with the traffic. This is how you'd like to keep an HGV going, and it's good fuel efficiency, um, good flow, and that's what you're trying to aim to get. And also in the test, it's keeping that examiner nice and comfortable, nice and happy. As you can see, the car's moving over in front. I'm checking my near side mirrors. The cars are also moving in behind me now, coming so they don't go to the bus line and we're heading up towards Solihull Town Centre on Old Load Lane. And we're coming up, we're going to the Crown slightly, we're staying out of that bus lane, so I'm monitoring the mirrors for position. At the lights, they're just going red, so off the gas, no point wasting all that fuel. And we're going to turn right at the lights. So mirrors, signal, and you've got to watch the BMW sticking out just a little bit. I don't really want to squeeze but I will manage to get in alongside. And I'm gonna use my mirrors to make sure I've got enough space, which I have. And now if you look in front, you will see the exit to the right, but I've got a lot of space out the front to take the unit before I make the right-hand turn. So again, I don't need to dominate any lines. I can do it from the lane I'm in. And I know, again, I can see that because I've got a lot of space out the front and the exit is quite wide. So I should be okay in this lane. Near side, front, right, blind spot. Signals on. Move to position. I've got to go deep to get the trailer past. Now it's just passing, but I've got a cyclist on that one lane, so I'm going to hold. And then I've got the red car. Now you've got to remember, you've got a 55 foot vehicle, literally, 45 foot trailer or 40 foot trailer. So you've got to get it all across. It's no good getting your front end across and blocking other people. So if in doubt, if you don't know, you don't go. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to hold, I'm still going to hold because again, my trailer would affect these oncoming vehicles. So after that van, check, check, and away we go. Our filter's on and we can make the turn. And checking the kick out from the headboard as well. Undo the steering against the left curb and the trailer will come round the curb from the right. 
Again, once I'm through that, I'll move out to the crown and away from the curb. I've got good vision ahead. I can see the white car disappearing around the corner. I can pick up two-way traffic warning sign. I can pick up the 40 mile an hour signs. And there's the cyclist off to the right. He's in another road, so he's safe over there. And our speed limit, as I say, 40 miles per hour. I'm doing about 35 at the moment, but I don't really want to gain too much on that white car in front. Space is always my friend. Again, check mirror checks on a regular basis, five to eight seconds, even on a straight road. Make sure, because you get a lot of cars who try to overtake, especially in a road like this. We've got a, again, we've got a lot of hazard signs coming up and we've got a change of speed limit. So check the mirrors, we're going downhill, so I'm gonna to have to gently brake to bring my speed through. Now, as we go through this 30, I have to be at or below 30 as we come through it. I am now at 28. On approach, crown of the road, looking round, I've got the sign for roadworks, traffic lights, crown of the road, looking at what's coming up. I've checked the mirrors, car behind us, or a couple of cars behind us. We're gonna go right at the lights. Now again, we don't have to dominate the lanes. There's plenty of room out front to get this round there. So we'll go into lane, mirrors and signals are on. Again, we're gonna keep the vehicle just about moving, so we haven't had to stop. Into the turn and check the mirrors we're going deep in right up to that facing warwick road sign then we can rotate to the right and then what we're going to do is undo the steering and keep the track the unit to the left to the near side curb that brings the trail around clear and then once we're through again we can move to the crown of the road and that'll improve our vision around that left hand bend okay it's looking pretty good we've got a garage on our left things with garages people pull in pull out so you might want to start to anticipate somebody doing a late crossover or pull out from the garage car coming in from the left and the right we'll check the right one off who's turning behind the trailer and the left one's in front of us which is perfect is out of our way now check the speed 30 mile an hour I'm about 29 pedestrian off to the left and we can do a quick mirror follow through mirror check on him, which we're doing now, it's clear. Obviously the car in front turning right, so mirror check, smooth on the brakes. Now that car's not made a very good, not made a very good position of turning right. Now that's very important to note that for your test. If you do that on a driving test on the HGV, you will fail for blocking. Because as you can see, I've had to stop because his back end's sticking out in our lane. So that's a fail on a driving test. So make sure that when we are positioning, if it's a rigid, try and get it into the lane. But if it was the Arctic, then obviously we've got no choice. Near side, blind spot, off we go. Now, the problem with that is if you look in my mirrors, he's now caused me to stop, which has caused a fair bit of a backlog. So that's how the examiner would look at it. You failed, to, you've stopped someone from progressing when you didn't need to. Now, up ahead, there's a red light. So again, I'm gonna get the gas on a little bit to try and get this traffic moving. It's changed to green now. On approach, picking up the signs for elderly people crossing at 110 yards. So again, lots of paint on the road. What does paint mean? Paint means danger. So let's read the road. Nobody's at the crossing, check the mirrors. And all the junctions are clear. Bus stop, they're all in the bus stop. The car's behind us, some of are turning right now. Should break that queue up a little bit. We're trying to maintain progress with the other traffic at 30 miles an hour. Now, as we bring it down, our trailer is 14 10, 14 foot 10. I can start to see a low bridge sign up ahead. So when we get closer, I can focus on the size. Let's have a look at the height of the bridge. We are 14 10. Mirror check, because we're braking, everybody else is braking. I can look in front of the white car that's right at the front of the queue going under the bridge now. The sign says 15.9, so we've got clearance. We can go under it safely. So again, as we come down, check the mirrors, keep the gap nice and safe. We're following the road ahead at the traffic lights. And it's on red, so again, no throttle on. It's all, at the moment, it's an automatic truck. We clap. I'll use the word coasting, but it's not actually coasting, it's in gear because it's an automatic truck. But I want to come off the gas just left the vehicle to just coast down the speed. Now, you're a truck. If you're in a truck, we've got to stay in the left lane where available. So check the mirrors. It's a fresh green light, so it should stay. Move to left lane. 
Watch the cars crossing across, make sure they don't move. Car could be down the right hand side. And again, I'm come off the gas in case the lights change, but they haven't. Now I've got a vehicle down the right, so I've got a lane in the much merging, so I'm gonna go mirror. I am gonna signal because I've got an Audi out on the right hand side. I'm just letting him know because he can't read the roads because my truck's on it. So I've just let him know I've had to come over and merge with him. Just sharing information with other road users. Now then, as we come down here, we've got the Beamer on the left, you've got a queue of traffic, and I'm looking right at the green sign in the distance. Now, check the Beamer off on the near side mirror. Check the other mirrors. Hold a safe margin between us and the vehicles in front, because I want a better vision. If I get up behind that T5 too close, I'll be looking at the T5 and not looking at where I'm going, which is right at the top of the hill where the white car, right in the distance and the green sign. We are following the A41, I believe, Warwick Road. So the examiner may have asked you to do an independent part of the drive. Please follow the A41 for Birmingham. So as we're driving now, not only are we looking at the hazard signs for there, for pedestrians, humps, crossing, we are also going to read direction routes. So again, let's have a look at that green one as we glance at the mirrors as well. And it says A41 city centre, off to the left, no entry to straight on. So it's a bit of a weird road, road layout, one way system. Move to the crown as you come to this. This is the ACOX screen. Move to the crown, stay on the right. Now, as we come round here, check your mirrors. Move to centre. Don't go all the way over to the right because you won't get the trailer. You've got to dominate this lane in an articulated vehicle. Keep the right hand signal on and then Dip into the hatchets a little bit, undo the steering. That's going to get you around that corner just about. Then left signal, and then towards the hatchets. Now here, you're going to have to come into the hatchets and hold. You need the oncoming side of the road. So you must stop and hold. When it's clear, check the mirrors, check the blind spots, borrow the other side of the road when it's clear, which it is check the mirror and make sure the trailer's coming round, which it is. And then back into lane. And over to the crown of the road. And now the other hazard at ACOX screen is as you've negotiated that corner, you come up and it's 20 miles an hour. So check your mirrors, ease off the gas, bring it to 20, you must be at or below 20 as you come through. And then you must maintain 20 miles an hour as you come through the route. Checking the mirrors again at the pinch points, making sure that your trailer's coming through fine, which it is. And that's it. The vehicle in front's turning off left, the crossing is clear. We've got a lot of roadworks in front, so again, I'm gonna be mindful in case there's men at work. Ease it back down, make sure there's nobody around I might step out from the vehicle and check the mirrors as we come through, make sure we haven't took any bollards or anybody with us, and stay on the crown. Green lights, again, remember it's 20 miles an hour, so check your speed as you come through. Again, car coming in from the left, check him off in the mirror, which we've done. Lady with a push chair on the, on the left side, and then we've got a green light, but somebody crossing, so we've got to give way. Even though it's green, check your mirrors, Okay, she's pressed it, but she hasn't stepped out. It's stayed green, so I've got to maintain progress. Move to the crown, pass the park vehicle. As I pass him, check him off in the mirror, braking for the lights in front, nice and smooth. We're still following A41 on independent drive. There was a big green sign on the back there saying third exit off the roundabout. So near side blind spot. I've kept the vehicle just about moving. We're going to signal, move to the right hand lane on approach. Dangerous roundabout because as you come in, the car drivers do like to actually come in and around the outside of you. So the signal's on, come wide, signal left, the crossing is live. So I'm going to actually block the traffic from the left at the moment. Wait until these people are clear of the crossing. They are now clear, mirror, near side, check, away we go. And a car coming down the right hand side, bus at the stop makes a life a bit more difficult. So we're going to be patient here and not squeeze around him at the moment. We'll give him a bit of time there, he eases away. Checking the mirrors. Now the thing with the bus is, he's probably going to stop again in a minute. So again, we're going to leave a gap. You've got a choice, look through the back window of the bus and you'll see somebody 
standing up at the front. I could just see a head bobbing up and down, or I did see a head bobbing up and down at the front there. Give, might give you an indication that he's going to stop at the next stop, and if you can see the next stop, if there's people standing there, then obviously you can plan and look to see if you've got space and it's safe to take it and go round the bus when he does stop. There he is, mirrors. Check that near side. There's nothing oncoming at the moment, so I'm not going to interfere with any oncoming traffic, so I'm going to mirror signal, maintain progress around the bus. Again, now, here, he's asking you to follow the signs for Birmingham Airport. You can see the parked cars in lane one, so I'm not going back into lane one, and the airport sign is telling me to turn right at the light. So I've checked the mirrors. He's back on the throttle. Try and time those lights. I'm possibly not going to manage this one because they do stay red for a long time. Nice and smooth on the brakes. Nice and smooth. And stationary, park brake on, position two, lockdown. Just sit back, take a deep breath and relax. You can have a look down your near side, look out for cyclists coming through on the near side or motorcyclists on either side. Pedestrians coming in from angles, the examiner expects you to be alert for all this. So even though I'm saying relax, doesn't mean to say you don't look at your environment. And also look at where you're driving the truck for the next uh, couple of seconds. Make sure that there's nothing broken down, no buses, no hazards that you need to negotiate. The sooner you see a hazard, the earlier you can make a plan to get round it. So mirror, near side, blind spots, all the mirror checks, blind spot checks done, off we go. Again, no need for excessive throttle. We're only going towards a red light anyway, so nice and smooth, that'll do us. Now, we can give a signal right, like the vehicle in front is giving, but we don't have to because it's actually a dedicated right-hand turn lane. Sometimes it's helpful to share information with oncoming traffic as well, but the cycle of these lights only allows us to turn at one time, so i am not got a signal on at the moment because it's a dedicated right-hand turn lane. I've left a nice gap between us and the vehicle in front. Near side, front, right, blind spot. Away we go. Now, as we turn in, it's a dual carriageway. This is just after Acox Green. And as we turn, check the mirrors, check the near side mirror for kick out. As we turn, we are a truck. We have to come into the left lane where available. Now, yes, we've got roadworks ahead. So what we're gonna do here, mirror, signal, and move out to lane two. But we've got to show the examiner that we knew which lane we should be in. And then as soon as we can see the hazard, the roadworks and the car, cars park, we move out, but we use our mirrors first. Now, this part of the test route, what the examiner likes to see is as you clear all this, all these parked cars on the near side, if that lane one is clear, you've got to move back in. So check your mirrors, signal. You don't have to give the left signal to be fair, but obviously I just did because the cars are quite close behind. I don't want them undertaking me. Now, the speed limit is 30 miles per hour on this section of road. It's not 40, it's 30. I've got an overtaking car now, well, he's sitting on the back wheel. I've got the road merging at the bottom, so I'm going to ask him and tell him that I'm going to be moving back into lane two. Now, the examiner wants you, if that lane's available, you must move back into lane one, because if you allow cars to undertake you, then he'll clash you as blocking and you could fail your test. So you've got to show that manoeuvre in and manoeuvre out if the lane's available. Okay, again, road ahead's fairly clear. Mirror's been checked. Few cars behind now. The reason being we're doing 30, which is the speed limit of the road, and there's not many people who actually do the speed limit down that road. As we clear the parked cars on the near side, checking through the mirrors, the crossing is clear, and all the way to the corner looks fairly clear. The junction's clear, they aren't coming VW. Okay, back onto the crown, so we're, we're well away from that curb line. We're going to go left following the signs for Birmingham Airport. There's the airport sign, dead ahead, the other side of the roundabout. We're going to go left. So, mirrors, signal, position. We're going to borrow a little bit of that right-hand turn. Only about half a foot to a foot of it, just to keep the trailer away from that curb line. Nice and smooth. After the blue car. Near side, front right, blind spot. Okay, so we're out in the crown of the road now. and we're going to go follow the airport sign, A45. So we're out in the crown, we're checking the near side mirror, we're clear of those cars, and we're going to go right, so mirrors, signal, position, TT on the blue car, T 
tyres to tarmac. Leave yourself space. Okay, good, good, good. And again, hold on the brakes. Again, make sure you know where these people are all going because a lot of people don't indicate at the roundabouts. Right, he's blocked, he's off. Out we go. Okay, good, good, good. Checking the mirrors for position of trailer. Just watching the traffic, making sure there's nothing too close to us. And then we're going to give a break off signal and then we're going to tuck the trailer slightly into the roundabout before we come off. Then we can come off, plenty of room. And as you can see, there's a bus lane, lane one. So we'll stay out wide, clearing the bus lane. Then it tells us to move back over to the left. So mirrors, and again, no signal required, just make sure there's nobody there, move back over to the left. And then again, there's a pedestrian crossing up ahead, green light, nobody's standing by the crossing, so hopefully it will stay green. And we've got to move back over to the centre line, so the road markings are telling us, so mirrors, signal, and when it's safe to do so, manoeuvre back into line, 40 mile an hour speed limit, so I'm only doing 35 at the moment. So I'll check the mirrors and build the speed up a little bit, coming into a right hand bend with a road sign saying queue in traffic and there's the queue so mirrors nice and smooth on the brakes it's warning you of the queue in traffic already and of the traffic lights so it's giving you the information to read okay and pedestrian approaching from the left but he hasn't pressed the button so we'll just clear him off check him off in the mirrors good Again, the lights are green, nobody's there. Theoretically, they should stay green. We go into the crown of the road again. Again, we've got another set of lights. Now, there is somebody standing at those lights, so I'm going to gently press the brakes and just slow in case they change. I'm covering the brakes. They're still green, still green. Check the near side mirror for those cars coming out. And um, we pass the point, no return. We go back to the gas, and the lights have stayed green. Now, here we're being warned, traffic lights bending the road to the right and slow on the road surface. So again, check the mirrors, smooth on the brakes. Nice and smooth. Let's have a look at those lights on about. They're on green at the moment, but we can't see if there's anybody standing by them, so, and there isn't. Car coming out from the right and overtaking from the right. So he's pulled out. It's going to cause the car to the mile right to slow down a little bit. That's fine. We've got plenty of space around us to deal with the situation. And as we approach now, we're going to take a left at the main set of overhead gantry lights Smooth. I'll tell you what we're going to do, instead of going left at the lights, we're going to carry on towards what the examiner's asked us to do, which is Birmingham Airport. So, the sign for Birmingham Airport is dead ahead. So, as we pass these, again, nice and smooth on the brakes. Check that white car, check the mirrors. <clears throat> smooth, try and keep the vehicle moving if we can, just gently, gently, gently. Oh, I don't want to get too close to that car in front. Check the mirrors, and away we go again following the signs for Birmingham Airport. Um, we're through the point of no return, so we'll go. And then we've got a bus up, up ahead, we've got a lot of traffic, so I'm going to allow a bit of space in front, so that if that bus pulls in again, we might be able to get ourselves around it safely. Tesla's out in front, that's fine. As long as you maintain space around your vehicle, then you should be able to deal with any issues that come up 
and it also improves your vision up ahead, which is what we're trying to do to get to know what's happening up ahead. So we can make a plan for any hazards. I'm holding the brakes on the park brake on position one. My foot's actually on the throttle ready to go. So all I will have to do now, once we start rolling, near side front right blind spot checks. And again, another after I start gently moving, I'll check the mirrors again, make sure nobody's coming late. No cyclists standing near side, no motorcyclists outside, no pedestrians around. The bus up ahead is going to be the one that's going to cause this air traffic to slow. So the lights have just changed again, so nice and smooth, no panic, no panic, nice and smooth. Stop, this time I'm going to lock it down. Again, just monitor the mirrors. Up ahead you've got pedestrian lights just going to red and the pedestrian's crossing. You've got people getting in and out of cars on the left side, so that's a danger, and I've got a heavy traffic down the right side. So just be aware of your environment while you're driving, because our working environment changes as we drive along. Okay, near front right blind spot, check for the pedestrians, make sure they're not moving, and away we go. Again, check the mirrors off, and away we go. Park cars, just check, make sure no one's getting in and out of them. The lights up ahead are now green, no pedestrians buy them, so they should theoretically stay green. And I'm looking right to the corner when it goes round to the left. I've got my speed up at about 35 at the moment. I'm just maintaining progress with the traffic. I want to make sure I keep a gap between me and that black car in front. It should be about a three second gap. I can check that by a datum point or a reference point. I'll do that in a second once we straighten up a little bit and I'll check our distance between us and that black car ahead. I'm looking at the bus up on the right hand corner as it's going around there. Obviously I'm picking this car coming in on the peripheral vision. The crossing is clear at the moment. One bloke approaching but he won't get there by the time we are so that's fine. Now the Volvo's coming from the left and we've got braking traffic so check your mirrors, smooth on the brakes, mindful of that one coming in from the left. The lights have now gone green, check the mirrors, and gently through we go. Now, once we've cleared these lights, we'll check distances. So check the mirrors again. Lights are green, stay green, point of no return. So I'm through the lights. Now, the sign on the left, the one upright, the Chevron, the Chevron sign, when the blue car goes through, count. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000. We're four, just over four seconds behind the vehicle in front. We would like to be at least three, four's fine, and it gives us time now to look ahead in front of the bus to see what's happening. As you can see in front of the bus, the cars going around the bend have just got bright lights on there. They go, look, all got bright lights coming on. That means that the sign coming up showing us there's a junction means there's traffic lights on them and they're possibly on red. So off the gas on approach, because we're running down the hill, crown of the road, nice and smooth. Position's good, smooth on the brakes, plenty of space to brake, plenty of view. Into position. Checking the mirrors, make sure we've got no motorcyclists or cyclists trying to squeeze through, which we haven't at the moment. And then, TT on the Volvo. Sorry. Coming through the traffic lights at the cargo side of the airport. They've just gone to green, so we should be okay with them. Check them off, we're through. Check your mirrors as you come through the lights to so make sure nobody's crossed across them. The, the examiner again, he just likes to see you checking your mirrors for these hazards as you're rolling through. Again, we've got lights up ahead, pedestrian lights, so check the mirrors again in case we have to slow. As we come up, look for any pedestrians. You can look to see if the sign's lit up, if you can see that. And there's nobody there, so we should be good. It's 40 miles per hour at the moment. And we are doing about 38, 39. So I'm just going to... Now we're running downhill, so I'm going to ease off the throttle. We're at 40 now. Look at the corner, look across the corner. Don't look in front, look across. And you're looking in the distance for anything that might make us change lanes, slow down, basically any hazard. And as you can see, if you scan ahead, we're picking up a 50 sign. Now you cannot exceed 40 until the vehicle is through the sign at 50. So as we check, check our mirrors. Now we can go to gas, take it up to 50 or whatever the road conditions allow you to, to the limit. 
The examiner would like to see them speed limit changes so that you prove you're reading the signs. Uh, we are now at about 46, 47, gaining to 48. And again, I'm trying to skim and look across the corner. I've got these in front of me, and now I'm looking for the sign for Birmingham Airport. Now, this blue car's just cut in, so I'm gonna have to back off a little bit, get a bit of a safety margin back. So there's the sign for Birmingham Airport. I'm easing off the gas to get that safety margin of space back in my drive. Near side, mirrors and mirrors, left signal, Ah, well now we've got a lane closure on the near side, so we've just picked that sign up and obviously we can see the conage. So as we come down, sign there saying work traffic only, so we're not going to go through there. We're going to approach towards the roundabout. Now, the slip road is open, so check the mirrors, take the left slip road. And this is coming down to Birmingham Airport. We're on the slip now, 40 mile an hour. I'm not gonna be doing 40, not around a left bend. All I'm doing is, uh, there's no set speed realistically. Obviously, it's whatever the road conditions allow you to. It's fairly dry today, good visibility. So I've come around there at about 28, 25. So here, slowing down again, a little bit more. I can borrow a little bit of the hatchet so I don't get anywhere near that curb line. Checking the mirrors for position. I'm gonna go B4438, so I'm signalling right, checking the mirrors. When it's safe to do so, I'm moving lane to lane two. Again, we're gonna be following the B4438, passing Birmingham Airport on our left. Vehicle over there coming through. No indicator, but we're gonna be into the roundabout before it's near. We're going wide at the roundabout, allowing this inside car, the white car, its space, because he should be allowed to come through and around you on the outside lane. So he's actually gone all the way around the roundabout. We clear the roundabout, we're in lane. As I said, we're a truck, we stay and remain in left lane where possible. And the reason I say that is because as we come down here on this test part of the test route, we have got the bus lane. Now, it's been suspended. If you notice, the blue signs have been painted out and the matrix sign on the left behind the trees will read, bus lane open to be used by all vehicles. That's us, all vehicles, HGVs. We must remain left where possible. Nice and smooth on the brakes. Obviously, reading the road ahead. Nice and smooth. And we're just still rolling, so I'll do a blind spot check, but I didn't apply the park brake because we didn't really stop completely. Check the mirrors as we go. And you must use the bus line. It's not a bus line, it's been suspended and the road signs tell you that and the examiner knows that. If you go to lane two at this point and you drive out there in lane two, then he will have you and fail you for blocking. You're blocking the flow in traffic. So here again, cyclist on the pavement there, just keep an eye on. Go to the crane at the roundabout, check the mirrors, ease it down onto the crane. And check behind the mirrors there. Again, be aware of the cyclist in case he drops off the footpath. That's why I've put that turn in a little bit tighter because just in case that cyclist decided to drop off the path. Okay, and then out of it, we're still in the bus lines. You can see the blue sign has been sprayed out. Um, we are following the signs now for all routes. So if you look at the white sign ahead, you will see on the top it says all routes and it's a 12 o'clock exit. We're remaining in the... X bus line. Mirror checks, smooth on the brakes. Check what's coming from the right at the moment. It's clear, and see it, he's going off. That's coming round, but we are gonna clear the roundabout before he comes. There we go. And then a red light up ahead, off the gas. It's going green, so go back to head mirrors and go back to the gas, maintaining the nice steady progress. Again, now we can skim our view to the next roundabout up ahead, which is clear at the moment. The Prius in front and all the other three vehicles out on the right-hand side. Picking up the signage, 40 mile an hour clearway, and our directional signs are telling us that all routes follow the road ahead. So again, as we approach, mirrors. The signal at the moment is a brake light, so brake light's still classed as a signal, so you still follow MSM, mirrors signal manoeuvre. As we approach, crown of the road again, nice and smooth, 
check there's nothing coming. Now, line discipline, as you can see, the line goes out wide to the left. So hug that curb a little bit, get your trailer over as much as you possibly can. Brake off signal, and then out. 300 yards for workmen, for uh, roadworks. So we've been warned, 40 mile an hour speed limit, so we'll go back up to speed as quickly as we can. But obviously we've got the roadworks to contend with, so we'll be mindful of that on approach. And up ahead, you can see the road sign. Uh, we're going to follow the 452, the A452, uh, for Brown Hills. And there's a giveaway sign, temporary giveaway sign that is, a workman giveaway sign on the, on the left side. Mirrors, nice and smooth on the brakes. Crown of the road. Nice and smooth. Watch the two cars coming in from the right. After them, it should be clear. They're clear, we can roll in. In we go, borrow a little bit of the right hand wall, the middle lane, and then come back in, and back into lane, over to the kerb. That'll bring your trailer back in line, and then back out to the crown, and that'll get us around that left hand bend. Uh, there we go. And then check the mirrors as you come out of the hazard. And then we're coming through to Chelmsley Wood and Sutton Coalfield Marston Green. Read the road markings, nice and clear. Green light, but be careful, it's a stale light, so I've come off the gas. 452 northbound, they have stayed green, check your mirrors, follow through the hazard, pick your speed up as you exit the hazard. We're in a straight line so we can accelerate now, up to 40 miles an hour, maintaining progress either with the flowing traffic or to the speed limit. Again, we've got a cycle lane on the left, there's no cyclists in there, and there's a sign for wild animals on the left side there. Crown of the road, again, monitor your mirrors, make sure you don't get dipping in and out of that cycle lane. Again, that's what the examiners will be looking for, to make sure you use your mirrors for lane, um, uh, well, being in the correct lane. Okay, and we've got to change the speed limit here, so 50 mile an hour, check your mirrors, back up, give it a bit more gas, show the examiner that you've seen the sign. You don't have to do 50, but if you're going up sort of 46, 45, 46, show him that you've seen the sign by use of the throttle. Now, hazard up ahead, roundabout, following the road ahead, check the mirrors, smooth on the brakes. On approach, what we're trying to do, it's a nice clean roundabout, nothing in front of us, so nothing behind us. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and maintain progress, but our vision's blocked because of the trees. So we've got to slow down a little bit more, but we'd like to keep the vehicle moving if possible. So as we approach, slightly on the crown again, check what's happening. Okay, the blocker's in, we're still moving, so we can go in, keep the vehicle moving, over to the gravel. There we go, nice and wide. Then as we come off, stay clear of that cycle line. Then as we come off, back to the crown, over to the right. There we go, and we're in line, 40 mile an hour. We picked up the small car behind us that's just coming off the roundabout. He's a little bit of a fast driver, so we'll be mindful of him. As soon as he gets a chance, we'll let him pass. I'd rather have drivers like that in front of us than behind us. Stale green light, so I'm easing off the throttle a little bit. I'm doing 35 off the throttle, just in case those lights change. Don't fixate, I've checked the, I've checked the mirrors. They're staying green and point of no return. Check the mirrors again through the junction. Person coming in from the left, getting in the car. So again, we'll just have to make sure she's okay. Check the near side mirror, yep, and away we go. Speed limit's 40 mile an hour, and we're doing about 38, 39, so that's fine. We're gonna be coming downhill in a minute. Again, we're coming through these pinch points, so as we pass through them, we're just checking the mirror, make sure that the trailer is following the unit correctly, and we've got enough space either side of the vehicle with use of the mirrors. As we come down the hill, I'm off the gas now, monitoring the speed, because we'll gain speed going down the hill. So my foot's gently, gently pushing the foot brake now, bringing the speed under control, make sure we don't get caught speeding. And at the roundabout, we are gonna go left first exit. You can see the yellow bollard in front. We're gonna go past that and then into the left turn line. Look at the road surface, it's all marked up for us. So check the mirrors, signal left, Move left when safe. Check the mirror to make sure we cleared the bollard with the trailer. Stay to the crown though. Don't go in too tight. Stay to the crown. The, the roundabout is clear. We make the turn. We're in. We go wide to the crown, away from the curb line. And the speed limit has changed now. It's 30 miles per hour up the hill towards Chelmsley Wood. So again, monitor your speed because you've just been doing 40. So check your speedometer and we're dead on 30 now. 
up the hill we go. The crossing obviously was clear. We're going to go third exit at the roundabout, right hand turn. Look at the road sign in front and look at the road surface. Tells you which lane to be in. And it's a two lane roundabout. Mirrors, signal right, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Up against the curb to try and get that trailer in position. Right, the Audi's off, we can go into the roundabout. Check the position using the mirrors, move into the roundabout. Don't get too close that your trailer goes up the roundabout, but keep it in tight because you've got to allow traffic to come around that left side. Don't want to block it. Now, once you're past your exit before the one you want, check the mirrors, indicate left, come left and exit left. Checking the mirrors and the blind spots as you do so, monitoring those mirrors for any cyclists, motorcyclists or small cars that have tried to inch their way around your outside. At the roundabout, we're going to follow the road ahead. Again here, look at the road surface. It tells you which lane to be in. And also, because you're a HGV, we're going to borrow the magic markings, and that'll stop our trailer cutting into that left turn lane. So sometimes with road markings, if they've got broken white lines around the hatchets, you are allowed into them. So we're going to borrow that. That'll keep us now. That's a unit. If you look in the mirrors, the trailer now follows in line and then around, and we can borrow a little bit of the match, it's a little bit there, that'll keep the trailer away from the roundabout. As we come off the roundabout, we go to the crown, at the crown, and that'll clear the near side curb line with the trailer. Okay, we're coming to a bit of a, a, a funny little roundabout, uh, it's, I call it a dog leg roundabout. On approach, it's not too bad, but on a cut approach, come slightly left, don't go into the cycle line, but come as close to it as you can, I'm going to give a signal just to let the cars know that we are going to go off on that first exit. Bring it over, and it's safe to do so. He's blocking, so we're going to go in. Steer off to the left. Now, undo the steer as fast as you can and keep it along the right-hand curb. Then when you've done that, take it back out to the left towards the cycle lane, then up over to the right. Very tight, but you can get through there relatively okay. Take your time, use your mirrors, get the position correct. Okay, at the roundabout, we are going to follow the road ahead. So again, we'll check the mirrors. At this point, the examiner may say to you, this is Chelmsley Woods, so he may say to you, please pull over, it's a safe and convenient location on the near side. So after the, after the roundabout, we'll look for that. Now the oncoming car is coming through, it's in a good position, so I'm happy to go. Steer around. There we go, as we come out, crown of the road. Now, please pull out the safe and convenient location, not the bus stop. There's a perfectly good position here. We're allowed to check the mirrors and cross over the cycle lane. It's obviously safe to do so, there's no cyclists there. And we'll pull in, in between these two parked cars, checking the mirrors as we come in. Straighten the vehicle up. Get the trailer in its lane so that it allows traffic to flow through and park brake on. Now, at this point, he'll, get, he'll just turn around to you and he'll say, okay, driver, that's fine. He's checked your position. He's checked all your processes. On your test, between three and five times he'll do this. So now we're ready to pull away. He's, he's saying to us, okay, driver, I would like you to follow the road ahead when it's safe to do so. So check the mirrors, wait for the gap. There's the gap. Near, front, right, blind spot. And away we go. And if you look in the rear view mirrors, we haven't interfered with anyone. We haven't slowed anybody down. We got away, we did all the blind spot checks, we did all the mirror checks correctly, and away we go. Now again, watch the cycle lane. We have got trees overhanging slightly to the right, so I've got to try and protect the vehicle as well as stay out the cycle lane, but use the mirrors and we should be fine. As we come up, you can see from the roundabout, the roundabout side, it's a seven and a half ton weight limit to the left. Now the examiner's not going to give you a direction here, he's going to expect you to follow the signs. The sign says that I can only go left. So check your mirrors, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, and TT on the VW. Tires to tarmac. Just inch along, but keep the maintain that safety margin. I'm looking at what's going on on the exits, what's coming in, what's happening down the sides of the vehicle. I've got another HGV behind me. Got no cyclists or pedestrians around, no motorcyclists at the moment. Now the roundabout is clear at the moment, so again, I will put a signal on just to let them traffic know that I'm coming, where exactly I'm going. And then up against the crown, over the crown, and obviously you can see the red light, so nice and smooth again on the brakes. TT, tyres to tarmac, 
VW, park brake on position one. And near side front right blind spot, undo the steering, run out along the crown of the road so we clear the kerb. And again, no extra, no too much throttle because it's all queuing traffic, so there's no point rushing up to stop again. Waste of fuel. Okay, the lights have been on green for a while, so we'll treat it with a bit of caution in case it does change back. Classed as a stale green. Check the mirrors. There she goes, nice and smooth on the brakes. We're already ready for it, nice and smooth. Ease it off, and the part brake goes on, and sit back, relax.